What's going on guys? So one thing that never gets old for me, and as far as I know never gets old for a lot of you guys, is finding some great scents on a budget. And in this case it's on a pretty strong low budget. Ultra cheap. We're talking fragrances that can be found for around $30 or in a lot of cases much less. That smell great, decent performance for the most part, and are perfect for the season at hand for the summertime so i've got 10 of those that i've selected to talk to you guys about i want to discuss them so stay tuned Starting with one that's very new to the collection, I just started spending some time with recently. My first impressions, I was very impressed by the just enjoyment of the scent profile overall. I actually have it on my arm right now. And it's a beautiful, sporty, as the name would indicate, type of fragrance. It's David Beckham Instinct. This is sport. Gorgeous orange to the bottle. Magnetic cap. About 17 bucks for this 50 ml. Beautiful scent. Has a little bit of fruity freshness, but more so of a light aquatic seawater type of vibe to it. A little bit of woods, a touch of shower gel to the smell, but not your, not the most basic shower gel scent. There's other fragrances, even from David Beckham, that are much more of a shower gel based smell. This has a little bit more going for it, though not a crazy deep fragrance. It just flat out smells really good. Decent performance, nothing miraculous it's been kind of in the four to five hour range of life on my skin so far it is very loud in the first 30 to 45 minutes then admittedly does sit a bit close to the skin but it's been a joy in the super high heat it's been great for the gym it's been great out the shower it's a great casual scent as well not one i would really want to dress up i mean sport is in the name and sport is in the style it's on the fresher side a little bit more simplistic without being too simple and it's super cheap that's one of the best parts about it doesn't smell like a $17 fragrance to me, but like I said, you can get this 50 ml for around $17. Again, that's David Beckham Instinct Sport. This next one basically smells like peppery shower gel. It's kind of how you can look at it. It's got some fresh green spices, a little bit of a peppery spice. It's got a little bit of a shower gel and broxen type of feel to it. Another one that's kind of average to slightly below average in performance, but smells great. You can get a 60 ml for around 20, 100 ml for a little bit more, right around $24, $25 with the original Jaguar Pace. I do have the Flanker Pace Accelerate, but I find this to be just the superior fragrance overall. This is the one I would suggest, though I haven't spent a ton of time with Accelerate just yet. I've spent enough time with this one to really recommend it. It's lovely stuff. If you like blue fragrances that offer a bit of a shower gel feel, but a little bit more character than just being a basic shower gel scent. Because like I said, there's a lot of greens and spices going on here as well that give this one a little bit more depth than your standard shower gel scent. Like I was saying before with the David Beckham fragrance, this has even more going on for it. The spices definitely add that extra layer, that extra bit of masculinity to it for sure. Not a warm and spicy fragrance, definitely more of a fresh and spicy fragrance. Perfect for a casual day or great for a work day as well this is definitely a great work fragrance and it's super affordable nobody talks about this fragrance anymore there was a time when it had a little bit of hype a few years ago and honestly it's still a really good fragrance check this one out if you haven't yet like i said if you like blue fragrances with a little bit of spice check out jaguar pace versace mano fresh scent profile on a very cheap budget at walmart for example you can get a 50 ml that comes with a bonus 30 ml which is what i got 100 mls for low 20s as well when it comes to kenneth cole blue this is a solid citrus dominant aquatic fragrance decent performance again nothing super special here in the three to four hours range on my skin but it's got some pretty strong projection in the first 30 to 45 minutes once again, but admittedly after about an hour to hour and a half, it does sit a bit close to the skin. This is a beautiful fresh aquatic. The citrus is kind of this orangey smell, sticks for most of the life of the fragrance with this beautiful sea notes aquatic salt, salty sea breeze, salt water type of accord that it has going for it. A little touch of woods in the background. Not a complex scent by any means. 
very reminiscent of Versace Mano Fresh, but more of a saltwater aquatic take on the similar scent profile to Versace Mano Fresh. And like I said, you can get this one super cheap. This is one of those little hidden gems for summer. And you can get this well below 30. Like I said, 100 ml is the big bottle in the low 20s. You can get a 50 ml plus a 30 ml and a bonus pack from Walmart. Keep that in mind for $19.99 before tax. Check this one out. This is a solid fragrance. This is actually a rebuy for me. I had a bottle in the past. This is my second bottle. Kenneth Cold Blue. Another recent acquisition that I've been spending time with going to the gym and wearing out the shower, it definitely is an appropriately named Summer Flanker. It's the 2022 Summer Flanker in the Tommy Summer line. It is Tommy Summer. This is Ocean Wave. So there's no watery fra uh, fragrance notes to this one. Nothing really aquatic in the note breakdown, but it has this palm leaf type of note that offers a little bit of a breezy aquatic smell. It's interesting the way it's composed. There's some fruits, there's a little touch of spice, there's some a light green feel, but it does have a bit of an oceanic ocean wave, as the name indicates, type of smell to it. The note breakdown, I don't think, tells the complete truth of how they created this oceanic accord, but the way they did it, it just works. Another one, three to four hour fragrance at best, but you can get this one at the rack stores right now for 20 bucks, and it's a new release. It came out this year, it's this year's summer flanker at the recording of this and uh i don't think it's some super special amazing fragrance but i was pleasantly surprised the first time i smelled it it's been making me want to wear it more and more you can spray this one heavy it's super enjoyable and inoffensive there's never a bad time to spray this one on especially in the high heat and like i said it's appropriately named it does smell like a tummy tommy summer flanker and it does have a bit of an oceanic ocean wave type of scent profile to it like I said before, it's super cheap. 20 bucks will get you a 100 ml of Tommy Hilfiger's Tommy Summer Ocean Wave. This next one doesn't even come in this bottle anymore. It comes in the bottle that Energize comes in. It comes in the bottle that Hugo Dark Blue comes in. We're talking about Hugo Iced. Beautiful spearmint gum minty type of fragrance. A little bit of an aquatic nature to it, but it's more about this minty spearmint type of smell. Oh, it's so uplift, uplifting. If you like mint fragrances, this is a great, super cheap mint fragrance. 75 mLs like this you can get in the low 20s from discounters online. They pop up at rack stores all the time. These Hugo fragrances are great little gems. Most of them summer appropriate like Hugo Now, Hugo Reversed, and of course, Hugo Ice. This is another one that's really, really good if you're into fresh green mint. Yes, it's more of the synthetic type of mint. It doesn't have a natural mint leaf smell. It's more of a mint gum type of smell, but it's done very well. This is a really, really good one. One I haven't been wearing lately. The reason I pulled it out and I'm talking about it in this video is I plan on wearing it in the very near future. It's going on the rotation table because it's a great cheapie that hasn't been getting a lot of love from me so far this summer, and that's about to change. If you haven't tried it yet, maybe you should because you may want to give it some love too once you smell it. It's a solid cheapie. Like I said, especially if you're into mint. This is one of the better cheap mint fragrances out there. Hugo Iced. 100 mLs are still popping up all over the rack stores for $30. Can't go wrong with this one. I have multiple bottles of it. It's one of my favorite cheap summer fragrances of all time. It is Abercrombie & Fitch First Instinct Together. You can never go wrong with it. Picture the original YSL YEDT, the first formula. Picture the original First Instinct. Then you take Invictus Aqua 2018, hence the color scheme. You kind of blend all three of those together. You get this. <sighs> Chemically synthetic, sure, but this beautiful, bright, crisp, edgy, almost tart grapefruit. It's very sharp at the top, but a little tart. A lot of ambergris. It's got this aquatic feel to it. It's a little... A little bit powdery, but more on the fresh aquatic side overall. I gotta spray this one some more. I love, love smelling this one. This one has been featured many times on this channel. I love this fragrance. I've done a line review. I've done an individual review on this. It's been in a ton of weekly rotations and it's been in its fair share of cheap fragrance lists as well. Cause I stand by this one. I love this fragrance. This is one of those fragrances I always recommend blind buying. I full warn that it is very synthetic. But it smells great, not a beast in performance, like four hours of life on my skin, but the first hour and a half to two hours is so bright, so loud. In my experience, it definitely will pull in a few nice compliments for you. And like I said, you can't go wrong with cheap. This is a 50 ml, but I see 100 mls all the time for 
at just about every Marshalls and TJ Maxx I go to, and they're even popping up at Ross Dress for Less. So be on the lookout if you haven't checked this one out yet, and you're looking for a great summer cheapie. 30 bucks or less, this is one of the best. Abercrombie and Fitch First Instinct together. One that's been on the rotation table for a few weeks now. I've talked about it recently on the channel. Haven't found an opportunity to wear it just yet, but that's going to be changing. At some point, it's really going to start hitting the rotation pretty heavily this summer. You can find it for around $25 from discounters online. Bentley for Men, Azure. Doesn't get talked about anymore. This is another one that had hype a few years ago. Is a great fragrance. Has this pimento spice with this lovely aquatic aquatic tone it's a little powdery and it's got this beautiful pineapple note at top giving this beautiful juicy fruit smell in the opening and like i said the pimento really grounds it and gives it a little bit of character it's got this nice spice to it that's not too spicy very crisp fresh fruity aquatic and fresh spicy that's all of the things you can expect to smell from this one an above average performer for sure this one falls in the six to seven hour range of life on my skin personally and projects pretty well for the first two hours this is Arms reach maybe a little better in the first hour, second hour more in that arms reach range. This, like I said, one of the better performers in this video, actually is the best performer in this video, to be honest with you. And for 25 bucks for just the beautifulness of this fragrance, it is in its most simplistic form, it smells beautiful. When it comes to fresh fragrances, it doesn't smell like every single fresh fragrance. It has a little bit of its own thing going, but obviously fresh is fresh at the end of the day. And this has a lot of it. 25 bucks, definitely sub $30 price point. You can find this at discounters online. Great cheapie for the summer. Bentley from Minnesota. I know damn good and well if I didn't have this fragrance in this video, a lot of you would be asking, why is this fragrance not in this video in the comments? Because it deserves to be here. There's no denying Nautica Voyage is one of the best cheapies for summer in the sub $30 price point. I mean, omitting it, would have been a bit of a shame. Don't get me wrong, there's other great cheap fragrances under 30 bucks for this season that could have taken its place, but this is one of those summer staples when it comes to ultra cheap. Crisp green apple, aquatic without really any strong aquatic notes if I remember correctly. A little bit of a white floral hit, clean and musky, a little lightly woods, a little light wood in the background and the dry down, but that apple aquatic tone stays for a long time this one will pull a compliment it's an all-time great it's probably still amazon's number one selling fragrance you can find this one for 20 bucks or less pretty much every time i go to a rack store i see it you can get them for around 16.99 at the rack stores and it's a staple in anyone's collection a staple in anyone's summer rotation that's looking to save a buck and smell great at the same time this stuff i mean it's an all-time great for sure no denying it well deserved to be in this video and well deserving of you checking it out if for some reason or another you haven't smelled it yet roll the dice on this one it's definitely blind by safe one of the summertime cheapy greats it's nautica voyage next this one is the most unique fragrance in the video 100 mls are going to run you 20 bucks and depending on bottle size on down i paid 12 bucks for this 50 ml i think it is sean john 3 a.m beautiful citrus fig leaf smell it's juicy fig there's a nice gin and tonic smell. It's got this crisp edge to it. And then this soft, supple leather to really give it some backbone, a little bit of spine. It grounds it. It adds some depth. And no secret here, this is the best atomizer in the business. Like my friend Justin likes to say, it's a fire hose. And it is pressure sensitive. You can spray a little, you can spray a lot. I don't mind filling this room with it because it's a beautiful scent. I love this fragrance. It's so good. So good that when this 50 ml runs out, I got a 100 ml still sealed in cellophane that I got for, I think I paid 13 bucks at Burlington for 100 ml. Just sitting there waiting in the wings. This is one you can spray heavy. It's inoffensive. And like I said, it's on the unique side. Built for the warm weather. This is great casually. It's great in the evenings when it's really hot outside and it's a wonderful, absolutely fantastic work fragrance year round, but especially shines in the summer. If for some reason you haven't checked this out yet, it's a hidden gem to the masses, but to us in the community, it's just a gem. It's not hidden these days. A lot of people know about this fragrance in this community. It's really good stuff. And if for some reason you haven't checked it out yet, this one's bordering blind by safe. Some people may not like it because it is unique, but it's a good unique in my opinion. Give me this, Sean John, 3 a.m. 
last but absolutely not least in any way shape or form because this is a vacation in a bottle type of fragrance 20 bucks at the rack stores will get you tommy bahama set sail saint bart's this is an older bottle this bottle several years old that's why the font and print on the front is different from the newer style ones but the juice hasn't changed it still smells like a margarita on the rocks. There's tequila, there's lime. I believe there's a little bit of coconut in there, if I remember correctly. Maybe a little sea salt. Yes, I believe there is some sea salt. It's got this warming boozy quality from this tequila note that they have in here. It's a decent performer too. In my experience, it actually goes about five hours on my skin, which may surprise some. It's an eau de cologne concentration. All of the Tommy Bahama fragrances, if I remember correctly, are an EDC concentration. So typically they don't last long, usually two or three hours for most of them. Some of them will give you three to four. This one gives me four to five, even maybe six hours if I spray my clothes. And it is the top fragrance from the house, in my opinion. There's a lot of people that will agree with me on that. Others may have a different favorite, but this is the quintessential summertime cheap fragrance for 20 bucks. You walk into a Nordstrom rack, they got them for 20 bucks. You walk into a Burlington, they probably got them for 20 bucks. And sporadically across Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and Ross, you'll find them for 20 bucks. And you just can't go wrong here. Like I said, it's a margarita on the rocks. It's as tropical as they come. All-star summertime cheapy right here, guys. It's Tommy Bahama. Set sail St. Bart's. Well, that's the 10 that I have for you today. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. Do appreciate all the feedback and I love hearing from you guys. What in this video do you have already and what do you think about them if you do have them? Do you like them? Do you love them? Do you hardly ever wear them? Do you spray them all the time? I love to read the conversation going on in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the 10 we featured in this video and you give them a spray now, I'm pretty confident you'll thank me later. You're going to smell great on a budget this summer. Have a good one, guys.